Dear students, in previous lectures, we discussed about design of stellar slots and you have seen what are the factors to be considered for the choice of stellar slots. Then we discussed design of stellar winding and uh, you have seen what is the procedure to calculate number of stator turns per phase and how area of cross section of conductors are decided. Okay. Based on this background theory, let us discuss some numerical examples on design of stator. Okay. Let us consider this example. First, I read this problem. Determine a suitable number of slots and conductors per slot for the stator winding of a three phase 3300 volt 50 hertz 300 rpm alternator the diameter is 2.3 meter and the axial length of the core is 0.35 meter the maximum flux density in the air gap should be approximately 0.9 weber per meter square assume sinusoidal flux distribution use single layer winding and star connection for the stator okay uh, before you go for solution of any of the design problem first you have to note down given data using standard notations you can write down relevant expressions okay then you can proceed uh, here in this problem main dimensions of machines are given d and l is given 2.3 meter is the diameter of machine and axial length of core is 0.35 meter right uh, and asked to determine number of slots and conductor per slot you have to find out how many number of stator slots are used for this particular machine and how many conductors per slot are fixed depending upon rating of the machine and it's clearly mentioned type of connection for the stator as star connection based on type of stator connection you have to convert given line voltage into phase voltage because whatever number of turns we calculate we do calculation based on we do calculation per phase based okay for that whatever line values are given line voltage are given in the problem that must be converted into phase voltage depending upon type of stator connection okay now we'll solve step by step uh, here speed of alternator is given in rpm it is 300 rpm but you know to calculate number of poles whatever synchronous speed we substitute that value must be in rps okay See here, NS is 120 F by P RPM. Then how we get this value of NS in RPS? 120 F divided by 60 P. Right? This NS which is in RPM is converted into RPS. Then once value of NS is converted into RPS, this is equal to 2 F divided by P. 120 divided by 60 is 2. 2 into F divided by P. From this uh, number of poles P equal to 2F divided by NS, right? So to calculate number of poles, because number of poles are not mentioned, to calculate number of poles, we use this equation P equal to 2F divided by NS, right? So after calculating synchronous speed in RPS, that is 300 RPM divided by 60, that will give speed in RPS. NS equal to 300 divided by 60 equal to 5 RPS. And this value of NS we substitute for calculation of number of poles in this equation. Okay, and frequency of supply is given. Usually it is 50 hertz. Therefore, P equal to 2F. F is 50 hertz divided by NS. NS is 5. Therefore, P equal to 20. Number of poles for this machine is 20 because this uh, uh, value of p we use to calculate flux per pole right then maximum flux density in the air gap is given it is 0.9 weber per meter square but for calculation we use average flux density in the gap therefore 
average flux density in the gap B average equal to 2 divided by pi into 0.9. See this is 0.57 Weber per meter square. This is specific magnetic loading, right? Then how do you calculate flux per pole? To calculate flux per pole, we use this relation. Okay. And maximum flux in the core can be estimated from these parameters. Okay. To calculate flux per pole, knowledge of average flux density, main dimensions of machines like D and L and number of poles uh, are required. Okay. So here, uh, to calculate flux per pole, we use this equation. And you know specific magnetic loading B average is given by P phi divided by pi dl. And from this P phi is B average into pi dl. And phi is B, B average pi dl divided by P. Therefore, flux per pole phi equal to B average. This pi d by P is nothing but 2. Hence, flux per pole phi equal to B average 2L. So, this same equation is used. To calculate value of flux per pole this is b average b average b average into 2 pi d by p then into l any of main dimensions of machines are given in the design data itself okay therefore flux per pole equal to b average b average is 0.75 for already are calculated here 0 0.574 this into pi d by p pi d d is 2.3 meter diameter of machine is 2.3 divided by number of poles calculated that is 20 this into L L is 0.35 meter and you know in case of water wheel turbines diameter of machine will be very large and axial length will be less diameter is 2.3 meter and axial length is just 0.35 meter okay so using main dimensions and B average value and number of poles flux per pole is calculated and here after calculation this value of flux per pole is 72.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 Weber 72.5 milliweber okay then uh, here how to calculate turns per phase okay you know to calculate turns per phase we use this relation and stator turns per, per uh, stator turns per phase can be estimated from the stator voltage as well as maximum flux in the core. Already maximum flux in the core is calculated and you know the relation uh, how stator voltage per phase is calculated. So we use this equation stator voltage per phase ES equal to 4.44 F phi TS into KWS where TS is number of turns per phase and KWS is stator winding factor. Here in this uh, design problem winding factor is not mentioned and if winding factor is not mentioned for full pitch coil uh, for distributed winding we can use value of KWS as 0.955 okay then uh, using this stator voltage per equation we can find out stator turns per phase as TS or TPH equal to ES divided by 4.44 F phi into KWS right so uh, this relation is used here to calculate turns per phase tp equal to es or e phase and as i told depending upon type of stator connection first you have to uh, convert that given value if it is in line uh, if uh, usually line voltage is given right uh, terminal voltage of machine is uh, usually line to line voltage and uh, as we do a calculation per phase that order voltage given uh, line value that must be converted into phase voltage and you know the relation between phase voltage and line voltage in case of star connection VL equal to root 3 V phase okay therefore phase voltage is VL divided by root 3 so from this EPH equal to 1910 volt so this value we substitute for calculation of turns, turns per phase and substituting values of EPH flux per pole frequency and winding factor turns per phase TPH equal to 124 okay then how to calculate number of stator slots so here to calculate number of stator slots this slot pitch serves as guiding factor okay and this value of slot pitch depends upon machine 
and usually for high voltage machines uh, uh, large slot pitches are preferred okay here this uh, relation shows uh, typical values of slot pitch for uh, different voltage ratings like uh, value of is is less than or equal to 40 mm for 6 kV or low voltage machine and YS is less than or equal to 60 mm for machines up to 15 kV as rating of machine given is here uh, 3.3 kV slot pitch is uh, slot pitch consider is less than 40 mm okay or it can be taken equal to 40 mm so here in this design problem slot pitch is taken as 40 mm for this 3.3 kV machines and for higher voltage usually uh, slot pitch will be higher right then slot per pole per phase Q is calculated as slot pitch divided by slot pitch equal to a uh, gap surface divided by number of stator slots so you know this relation slot pitch is given by ys is equal to gap surface divided by total number of stator slots gap surface is pi d and number of stator slots are ss from this ss equal to pi d divided by ys but what is ss ss is number of stator slots number of stator slots per pole per phase can be calculated first and to calculate that number of stator slots per pole per phase q equal to say here ys equal to pi d divided by 3 p q okay as it is three phase machine number of uh, slots per pole per phase is q okay so substituting value of d number of poles and slot pitch as 40 mm okay uh, while substituting value of d if you substitute value of d in centimeter then you can keep value of ys in centimeter 40 mm is nothing but 4 centimeter if you substitute value of d in meter then you have to convert this slot pitch in meter okay this is a very important step to be noted for calculation of q when you substitute for d whatever unit you uh, consider for diameter of machine uh, for slot pitch also unit must uh, that value must be in same unit okay then only you get this q in some integer number okay q equal to 3 as we have to use single layer winding in this problem it is given clearly mentioned use single layer winding okay for single layer winding integral number of slots per pole per phase has to be employed next we will discuss how to decide number of stator conductors per slot right you know from this relation Conductor per slot is ZS is equal to 6 TS divided by SS. What is 6 TS? Total number of stator conductors. Total number of stator conductors equal to, you know, Z equal to 2T. And in case of 3 phase, it is 3 times 2 TS. That is 6 TS. Hence, conductors per stator slot, ZS is equal to 6 TS divided by number of stator slots. Right? Then, uh, how to get total number of stator slots total number of stator slot s equal to q is number of stator slots per pole per phase as it is three phase machine then s is 3 p q okay therefore total number of stator slots are s equal to 3 into 20 into 3 3 is slots per pole per phase hence s is 180 then total number of stator conductors just now you have seen the relation z equal to 3 times 2 ts right so total number of stator conductors 6 tph equal to 6 into 124 already number of stator turns are calculated 124 so total number of stator conductors are 744 then conductor per slot conductor per slot is total stator conductors divided by number of stator slots that will give conductors per slot so hence ZS equal to 744 divided by 180 which is equal to 4 therefore total stator conductors used okay total number of stator slots are 180 and stator conductor per slot are 4 okay then total stator conductors used 720 then turns per turns per phase used TPH equal to 720 is total number of stator conductor divided by 
6 that is 120 so this will give